everyone, it's Justin. Thank you for watching. In this video, I want to show you Microsoft Teams and ServiceNow working together. Um, there's several ways you could do this. I'll have a couple of videos showing different integrations. In this video, we're going to talk about a live agent conversation. Now, Live Agent has been around in ServiceNow for a while. Someone could go to the portal, whether that's the IT portal or customer service portal, and they could say, hey, I want to talk to a Live Agent, and the agent could pick that up from their inbox and actually talk to the user using just ServiceNow. So what's unique here in this demo is that they've taken that Live Agent functionality. I've got Service Operations Workspace here on the left-hand side, Microsoft Teams over here on the right-hand side, They've taken that and dumped it into Microsoft Teams so that you can meet users where they are. So if it's a service desk situation, which I've got here, um, the user can be in, in uh, Microsoft Teams. And what they could do is they could come up and they could use the search function to find ServiceNow. So if I just type in ServiceNow, there should be an app that you can actually talk to um, if it wasn't showing up in your conversation history like it is here because I've been testing to make sure this demo worked. So if the user wanted to do something and talk to a live agent, to start a conversation, they would start with the virtual agent. So they could say hi to the virtual agent like I just did there on the right. And the virtual agent will respond with any pre-configured conversations that you set up for virtual agent. I've got a demo environment, so it has everything here. But what I want to show you is this chat with the live agent. So if I choose this chat with our agent, hit submit, it's going to send that request. And the user I'm logged into with uh, just above my head, lacks me the analyst in the operations workspace has her inbox status set to available. So we can see here that she's ready to take a chat. And if I look, this just came through uh, to accept or reject this particular chat from Justin Meadows. So we'll go ahead and hit accept. And that will start an interaction record within ServiceNow. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and hide this inbox here so we just see the interaction record um, and the live chat going on with the user. So um, Laxme can come in here and say, hey Justin, uh, how can I help? And you can see just over here, it's actually showing in the or Teams that someone's typing. So we've got that indicator there that someone's actually responding. And if I send that, it's going to go and actually send that message over to Justin within Microsoft Teams. So you see that came through. And so Justin can respond and say, um, need some help uh, with my laptop. Who doesn't need help with their laptop? And that should show up on the left-hand side for Laxme um, to see need some help with my laptop. So that's the basic integration there, back and forth. You don't need to see a whole conversation to know that the integration actually works. Um, and I can stop the conversation um, on either side as the agent or as the user. I'm going to go ahead and stop it as the agent. You'll see kind of that what that experience looks like there. We'll hit OK. And I'm going to widen this window because I want you to see um, if you were coming back and saw this interaction with Justin, what does that look like? So someone's coming back to see, hey, I see there was an interaction with the user and I want to see what they talked about and you know what that interaction was. So I'll go ahead and pull up all the interactions. Um, I didn't actually put a short description in that one here, but you can see here I've got this one with Justin that happened. And what ServiceNow does is they put a little transcript in so you can see what that conversation was between the agent and the user. So there's the internal transcript of Justin asking, or asking myself really, lacks me asking Justin how can she help, me saying, me saying I needed some help with my laptop, and then lacks me actually closing the support session. So all that's documented. We have an audit trail for how all that went down and how that occurred within Microsoft Teams and within ServiceNow. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please like, please subscribe, or share it with somebody you think might be interested. Until next time, I'll see you on the next one.